Hi, uh, this is Ernest Cook with Better Idea Group, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the on-premises data gateway uh, for Power BI, and specifically using the uh, the data sources for QQ. So um, there's lots of videos out there. Uh, Microsoft documentation is pretty good for installing the on-premises data gateway. So I just kind of start with that up and up and install to see that it's there. I haven't done anything super cool. Uh, and specific to that, um, other than the fact that, you know, I have actually, you know, have actually logged in mm. or um, installed it once and configured it. Yeah. I'll go ahead and log in so we can see what that looks like. So um, I have the on-premises data gateway here, mm. and you can see that it's set up um, for the Power BI default environment down here, and uh, all the other settings are nothing, uh, nothing but the default. Um, even the um, thing. So I'm on a um, a network with a, a basic router that faces the internet in front of the time. So obviously, uh, depending on your network settings, some of these other things might need to be tweaked. But uh, in general, um, I hit the default settings. So that's what that looks like. Um, so now I want to look at the uh, Power BI site. Uh, <coughs> first thing I want to show you, just uh, you know, I have a couple of different files that were loaded. So one of the things that I did was I went out and created um, a file right here, QQ list items, uh, in order to go pull in a pretty straightforward list of companies. So you see there's a list of companies that I have. And then um, after I went ahead and pulled that in uh, from Cube, I published that up to uh, the site. And so that's what we're looking at here is the Cube list items, QBIX file, together with um, a current report. So here's the actual, let me save that. Here's the actual uh, data set down here. And if I look at the properties here, uh, you know, it's from a PBIX file that uh, I pushed up a couple hours ago. So I'm setting up this uh, demo. <coughs> and um, I didn't actually build a report at that point. Uh, so uh, what I want to do now is go look at some of the, uh, the options here for... Uh, how this is configured with the gateway. So before I get that, let's go up here to uh, the settings for the gateway, manage the gateway. So this is the name of my machine here. And you can see underneath that, I've set up um, the ODBC connections for both Cube user and Cube financials. Okay. Uh, nothing or shattering there. I'm using DSN equals QQ financials or DSN equals QQ user and I'm putting in the username and password down here in the settings. Uh, pretty straightforward. So let's go back to our um, list items. And uh, I'm sorry, my list items is a record set. And uh, have a look at the, um, the settings down here. So Inside the data set, here's my cube list items. When you look at the gateway connection, you can see that I've marked use a data gateway, specifying the settings that we had over here for the yoga cube. Cube is actually being synchronized now, and we can schedule a refresh, but uh, I'm just going to do, do it manually for now because this is on my laptop and the settings are not always there. So um, it's really just a matter of wiring it up by selecting the uh, use the data gateway. Different ones, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so I would just go ahead and do that, update the credentials, say apply, and then we'll be connected. Okay. So that's all we've done. Um, so since I've actually pushed this up, I went ahead in um, Cube and I've actually pushed a, another company in to my file just so we can see what that looks like. So let's go look at my uh, report again. 
So I had two companies here and they had a bunch of uh, information. And if I refresh this information, there's no big change. So what I want to do is come down here now that I've uh, I come here and hit refresh now on my list item. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do the refresh. And in a second, when the, uh, when the website has talked to the gateway down to my local cube database, it should actually pull all of the uh, current uh, information with respect to the companies, update my data set in the, uh, in the cloud database, and then when I hit the refresh here, you can see now I have three, uh, three files here. So in review, the, the uh, three major steps for getting Kubecube and Power BI gateway operational is first, install the on-premise data gateway. Second, add your DSNs to the gateway specific to QQ, the QQ user, and the QQ financials. And then third, go to the data set and inside the data set, set it to use a data gateway. That's pretty much it. Hope this is helpful.